Hey guys, Joker Swag here. Welcome to part six of Ascension Race to the Top. I am I'm trying something different. You know, like how I said I was gonna start skipping parts. Um, instead, I'm gonna skip a few seconds here and there because editing is screwy. But um, what I'm doing instead is I just put it in fast motion. Tell me what you guys think about this. I'm not sure if you want to see half the half the stuff in the same amount of time, or if you want to see twice the stuff in the same amount of time and see everything. I don't know. Like, see this? I don't know. This seems to work good for me. I don't know what you guys want to do. This seems to be more simple because I record in pretty much 30-minute increments anyway, so this is just... I don't know. All I have to do is put it in Movie Maker and hit times two. What in the world? See, there. for some reason on this play through I just kind of started noticing things that I didn't like little details here and there like you know in the last video I, I saw that seam in the sky and then on here I saw I just now looked at that um I don't even know what that was it looked like the electric poles from uh dead ops but I had the worst luck here have you ever seen anyone with this kind of luck with the box I'm not going to spoil what happens I mean it gets pretty bad it you're going to laugh oh my gosh China Lake I'm so glad I had the Spaz 12 to make things easier. There's the RPK, so that, that's a lot of ammo. Paint gun. I mean, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So look at this. I spent all my points on the box here. All of them. I spent... How many points was it? Was it like 50,000 points on the box or something crazy like that? Or it might have been 10,000, but still. That's a lot of points to go through just on the box. I mean, come on. I don't know. If, I don't think I've ever seen that bad of luck except for when Syndicate tried to do the All Guns Pack a Punch in one game on Kino. When he was trying to get the crossbow at the very end, the box moved like five times on him. He said, this is why I've been milking the zombies for points, because he had 90,000 points. He said, just watch me try and watch me spend 90,000 points trying to get the crossbow out of the box, because that was the only gun that he had left. Please, Boxy, help me out here. Where's the box? I honestly don't know what I'm doing here. I might be just trying to get kills for the epic montage because I don't want to um, get 9,000 views and then you guys be like, you promised us a video and then I don't get it out to you for like a month. So I want to get as many um, amazing kills as I can in, in, in each video so I can have you an actual montage ready most of the way. Then again, I don't like having this many videos on my computer. I'm going to have to move everything over to a flash drive eventually because this is a lot of memory. Pretty much, I, I keep the Movie Maker files and delete the um, actual videos like once I save them, the HD files, because those are really, really um, resource intensive. Now see, it's weird. You see that how I, how I lost all those points at the box? Oh, yeah! Yes! But um, you, you guys see how I spent so many points at the box and I just get it all right back after one. Look at that. That brick is floating. And then I fired the thunder gun at that zombie and, and it missed him. But uh, that was so weird. Oh my goodness. It is so hot. I'm, I'm recording the audio right now in my car because I don't really get much of a chance to do it at home. So I'm recording in my car. It's hot. It's summer. The car's off. Dude, it is so hot in here. I might have to just put more, just change the audio, like get out of the car and then come back later. <laughs> it is so hot. I'm going to start getting delusional in here. And I already sound like I'm high as a kite half the time. 
So if you guys hear any weird noises, that is either people around me or I'm doing something in the car. I mean, you're going to hear a lot of weird stuff. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to turn the air on. It is hot. You guys are going to hear the background noise, but at this point, I really don't care. I'm so hot. I'm like about to die of, of heat exhaustion. Shut up, you stupid car. How's that? I have no idea. Okay, the recording says that it's picking up minimal sound from that, so hopefully that's not too bad on you guys, but I am so hot. Did you see how many shots that took? I was trying to hit that teddy bear. What? It won't let me stand on the lander. Okay. But, um, did you see how many shots that bear took? Okay, look at this. I'm, oh, okay, never mind. I'm on the lander. Now, I want you guys to look at this later. I get on one of the landers. I think, it, I think I'm trying to get all the landers. You look down in the lander, like, like while it's there, you, you go prone on the lander, and it will, like, you look down, I'm surprised at the amount of detail that they put in there. Is that it? Yeah. Look at how much detail they put down there, and you only get to see that for splits, for like a split second. And they put that much detail into there. I was so surprised in this game by how much detail they put into some things, and then how little detail they put into other things. I mean, some of the detail they put in here is insane. And then they went in other places and, like, like, you see all the barrier glitches where you can just fall out of the map. I mean, that's it's kind of useless. I've only managed to destroy this stupid rocket once. I don't even remember how I did it. It was like the first time I played through Ascension that I managed to launch the rocket. And all of a sudden, I get a random death ma I guess that's how I did it, is I accidentally got a death machine and blew up the rocket. But I know that you get a death machine when you blow up the rocket, so I have no idea what happened. So here I go, I'm just going to pack a punch this, there's no point. For some reason I just don't, I'm like, it's kind of like in World at War, whenever I got the Wonder Wolf, I would just like, I'd be like, screw it, the, the pack a punch version is so much better, so I just like, I don't even use all the ammo for the regular one, I just go and pack a punch and get the DG3, just kind of get that out of the way, because the DG3 is so much better. Now, guys, I don't want to copy other YouTubers, but um, I got the idea. I think it was the Elite Gamers Go said he was going to start doing some uh, some World at War videos, but then his iPod broke. I'm actually kind of talking to you, man. Um, do you want me to do World at War videos since you can't, you know, just to kind of help you out? Or do you want me to just leave that alone so that you can do it when you get your iPod fixed? I, mean, I kind of want to help you guys out. I just want to do whatever the viewers want to see. And, you know, if you want it, I mean, I don't know what you want. I don't know what everyone else wants. I, I just want to do what everyone wants. But now that I can record my screen, I can do anything for you guys. I thought about doing some Contract Killer Zombies videos for you guys. But I suck at that game, so you guys would see a bunch of deaths. Or there wouldn't be a lot of videos about it. I don't know. I just kind of thought about, I've thought of all sorts of things. You know, just to break it up, I was afraid you guys would get tired of seeing nothing but COD Zombies. I've thought about a million different things to do, but I, I haven't decided on any of them, because I thought, you know, this, this channel's all about COD Zombies. But then again, it's also all about what you guys want to see. So if you told me any anything to do, I pretty much I could probably do it for you, as long as it didn't involve me having to pay more money. Pretty much like any iPod app, or really, well really, iPod apps are pretty much the only thing I could do besides Minecraft on the computer, and you know, Minecraft takes up so much of my time anyway, I already told you guys, ugh. But I was tempted to post a video, I was, I was exploring Syndicate's world, and I went to Fire City and I found a spot that um, he never went to. It was like there was a random cake hidden in a cave. Uh, I was tempted to post that and respond and send like a video response to him and be like, hey man, here's what you missed. Oh cool, that was like the best trade-off ever. I give up, I like have low ammo on the gun. I give it up for the ray gun, then I trade it back and I get the same thing. Oh, death machine. 
but yeah, this, yeah, see, I kind of like viewing this in fast motion because it, it took me half an hour to record what you're seeing, but you're able to see it in 15 minutes. So I'm able to crank out twice the information in the same amount of time. And I don't have to worry about coming up with stuff to say for that much time. Look at this epic, oh, that wasn't it. There's was, there's a spot where I do like an epic kill like while I'm coming down in the, well, like while I'm in the air. I was thinking of putting that in the montage. So I kind of like doing that till I like knock the monkey over and then walk over to him and shoot him and kill him. Just for the LOLs, you know, just kind of make, make myself laugh. I'm so glad I have like this time frame. My teacher let me out of class like 20 minutes early. And it was calculus, so you know, I was so happy to get out of there. Cal 2. It's the devil. In case you're in case you don't know, just because you do good in Cal 1 does not mean you will do good in Cal 2. Cal 2 is so hard. And the professors are so unforgiving. <laughs> Then again, it's kind of like how linear algebra, I was thinking, oh, that class is going to be easy. It's just going to be a bunch of lines. It has nothing to do with the linear algebra you learned in high school, middle school, elementary school. It has nothing to do with those. It's like, okay, remember that stuff you learned about matrices in middle school? Okay, multiply that by about five, and then add a whole book on extensions of that, and then make it harder. I don't know. It's impossible. fail. Fire the thunder gun as a waste. I was just kind of, I think I was trying to like turn around in midair and kill them. Like, like run off the ledge and then turn around in midair and just shoot them. I'm such a box whore, man. I, I don't get it. I just, I just hit the box so much. I guess I just get bored with each gun. So I'm like, okay, just move on. I just can't stick with one gun for too long, I guess. There was one time, not in this game, but there was one time where I like I got rid of the thunder gun because I was thinking, you know, I don't really need it. But then I was like, oh crap, the monkey's coming, and they're such a small target, it's just easier just to get the thunder gun. So I was probably, probably spent another 10,000 points trying to get the thunder gun back. Oh, yeah, here's where I wanted to... What, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, I just wanted to go for the M14. Okay. So I don't even remember what I was going through, and then when I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember what I was thinking here. I was thinking about surviving for as long as I could just to see what I could do with the M14, but I, I think I got tired of it pretty quickly because I, I, I didn't even remember this until I saw the film for it. Now one thing I don't like is like on the Xbox version they wouldn't let you have more than four perks by buying you would have to get the fifth perk from the monkeys. But on here they have it where you can buy all five perks instead of just getting them from the monkeys. I don't like that. I wish they had it set up like like um, the Xbox. Oh, guys, and I spoke with um, BKDLTD, and he was. I was like, you know, I mentioned Call of the Dead in my last video, and he said, yeah, I heard that they might leave George out, and I said, D oh, my goodness, no. Like, I'd heard those rumors, too, but I was just hoping that they weren't true. Because I said, um, the way that Call of the Dead is designed without George in it, it's basically just... Um, Shinonuma without dogs. I mean, it's basically an icy version of Shinonuma. I, I really just don't like it. I like the idea of it without George. Oh, guys, it's time to leave. Um, Jugger Swag out. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Make sure to like the video. Because if we get over 9,000 views, we get a montage. All right, guys, I'm out.